Hello, hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Kick Resume Builder tutorial. In it, I'll be showing you how to use one of the best AI resume builder and I'll be showing you also how to create a resume for free and download it. So you want to go on to kickresume.com or I'll be leaving a link in the description that you can use to sign up. And when they're free plan, you'll get numerous features. So for example, if I were to select pricing, you can see that on the free plan, you'll get access to four basic resume templates. You'll also get matching cover letter and you can also create a basic website and also 20,000 pre-written phrases and so much more. So you're going to tap on create my resume in the top right hand corner. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page and you can choose to either sign up with your LinkedIn account, email address, Apple account, Facebook account or Google account. I'm just going to be selecting Google account for this example. Once you have created your account, you will be redirected to this dashboard and from here you could paste in your LinkedIn profile link and from there they'll be able to create a resume using your profile link. But in this example, I'm going to be showing you how to create a resume using AI. So I'm going to tap on AI then you could put in your first name or you could put in your name better yet right there. Then you can also put in your job title. So for example, let's say landscaper. So I'll put that in right there. Then I'm going to tap on continue. After tapping on continue, you'll give it a few seconds while the AI is at work. Once it is finished, you'll be redirected to a new page. And on this new page, you can select from any one of the templates. Keep in mind, there are a few templates that if you were to select it, you would need to pay. So you can see the templates that say premium and you can also see the free templates. So I recommend that you select one of the free templates as you can see right here. So let's say for example, this template. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. And on this page, you can tap on any section to start editing it. So you can tap right here and then you could go over to the left hand menu option and you could start editing it. And you can see the basic layout right there. If you would like to add a custom field, you can do that by tapping on add custom fields. After doing that, you could add in the text. You can also scroll up and you could add in your date of birth, nationality, address, and so on. As this is very important when creating a resume and the thing that holds a lot of persons back when creating a resume or keeps them from getting their job their desired job is because their resume does not look professional and it does not have the necessary information so this is the reason why i would recommend that you use a resume template as it basically shows you the layout of what you'll need to do to create a professional looking resume so all you'll need to do is simply fill in the necessary information. So you could add in your photo right there, your title, and also your first and last name, and so on. Once you're finished editing, you can go down to the bottom of the page. From here, you can choose to add achievements, awards, or certificates, anything that you have, you can add it right there. You can also go over to the left-hand menu option, and from here you could tap on design and you could change the color. You can also change the font style and size. You can scroll down, you can change the line in space. There are numerous editing options that you have access to. And by going over to the left hand menu option once more, you could tap on job interview. And from here you could go through some job interview questions and you could prepare. And you can also tap on career coach and you could use their career coach feature. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on download and share from the left hand menu option. After you have tapped on download and share, you can either download it as a PDF, export text to Word, send to email or save to Dropbox or save to Google Drive. For this example, I'm going to be selecting download as PDF. And one of the pullbacks when it comes on to kick resume, you're going to see it now. So we are going to tap on convert to free. After you have selected convert to free, you can see that it removes quite a few sections. 
and we're going to tap on convert to free once more. So now it is preparing our resume. Once your resume has been prepared, you can see it right here. So we'll tap on free resume and you can see how it looks right there. So you can see that they have removed a few sections, but this is basically it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, or if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, you can let me know.